I got it hooked up. I got a meter run through um, for the coil. I fixed the other coil. I'm just going to run all six of them for you guys. And now we got the amp meter out of the way so it's not being affected by the spinning magnets. And we got the tack ready so we are going to fire this thing up. Oh, big difference there. Up to 120. That's pretty good right there. Now at 120, we're drawing 1.2 amps. We are outputting um, it's backwards here. Let's flip this over. It's reading negative. No, don't give you an accurate reading when it's reading negative. So. so we're putting 10 amps into the batteries. We are running 1.4 amps on the input at 123 volts. And the battery's charging at 12.5. And it's picking up speed. So let's see what we got here. That's not right. There's no way that's right. It's not. It's not going 7,000 RPM. This is a semi-gloss surface. Well, it's not reading off of that. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm bouncing it back off of that, and yeah, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to find a way to track the RPMs. It's not working. But we're at 1.5 amps, 123 volts, 12.6. In at 11 point, point 10 and 11 amps into the batteries, and she's humming right along. Now the chips are rated to 160, so I'm gonna run this a little bit higher here. All right, 140. Bolts 12.8 in and 13 amps into the batteries at 1.7 amps at 147 volts. And it's smoking. Oh, that's great. Six coils is going to do it, guys. It's still climbing. It's pretty good. It sounds like the cart motor climb, so that's going to get up to 1,000 RPM in no time flat. 12.8, 12.9 volts, 13.8 amps into the batteries at 1.8 amps on the input. Excellent. Finally. I just wasn't happy with the other motor in series. A lot lower amperage, but amperage is not a bad thing if you're capturing it on the other side. So uh, This thing's ripping, guys. I think the box motor is a success, finally. Um, I'm going to have to do some speed tests. I'm going to have to black that out so I'm getting a proper RPM reading off of the wheel because right now I'm not so it doesn't do me any good to give you a false reading on that but uh, it's charging the batteries great 13, 14, almost 14 amps into the batteries they're charging like crazy 
147 volts. And not even warm. 1.8, bounce between 1.7 and 1.8 amps. the other side of this thing. Now I'm going to put a shield over this, so this will be in case because I want to use this for a display. So that's the output at 40 volts. That's Those are caps are rated at 40 volts. Those are rated at 200. That's about 8,000 farads. That's about 160 farads, microfarads, excuse me, microfarads. So, she's flying, guys. Everything's working. Got a little vibration, but I never did completely balance the wheel. Um, after the rebuild, I didn't check it. So, yeah, it's hanging about. 13, between 13 and 14 amps into the batteries at 147 volts, 1.8 amps in. So, if you do the math here, that's probably about 50% efficiency on the recapture. We're recapturing maybe 50% of the energy, but it doesn't have a generator yet. And with that kind of drive, it's going to drive the generator. No problem. It's a low drag generator. So let's run this up to about 160. If it blows up, you guys will never see this video. There we go, 160. I'll leave it right there. They're rated at 160. Of course, I think they'll go higher. Yep, 15 amps. The batteries are at 13 volts. 1.9 amps in at 158 volts. It's flying. That's great. Well, she's running, fellers. I gotta put the big one together. It's gonna create significant more torque than the smaller version. I know that from the cart motor. The large one, hopefully, will be able to drive a conventional generator with it. This one's going to require a special generator. But, it's flying. I'll give you a RPM readings in the next video. Once I've solved it, I'm sure my readings are accurate. It doesn't do anybody any good to say it's going 7,000 RPMs when I know good and well, if I had to guess, I would say it's around eight, 900 RPM, you know, from the sound it makes. Been doing this a while, guys, so I kind of got an ear for what's happening, so I'll show you how long it takes to dissipate the capacitors. We're going to turn off the Variac. That's it. It's gone. Nothing with uh, drawing two amps on those caps. In one second, the energy was gone. So, and the batteries are holding a charge at 12, 12 volts. They were at 11.7 when I started.